Hello and welcome back to our online multiplayer series. In this episode, we're going to go through the process of closing a lobby and returning back to menu, both as a client and as the host, as well as to fix a few other little issues we may find along the way. So the first thing you need to do is set up the button to allow us to do this. So we're going to go to our subsystems here, look at our lobby host screen, and on top of the having the start match button, we're going to also have the close lobby button. So let's just click on that button here for start match. And I'll duplicate this. And this one is going to be called the close lobby button. And we're going to change the text to reflect that. Okay. File and save that. Next, we need to go to the player client screen, lobby client screen, and we can also have a button in here too. So I'm just going to copy this one. Let's just right click on this and copy and go to the client screen and add that to our vertical box side of here. There is our close lobby. that on the other side of the spacer okay so we now got two closed lobby buttons one for the client and one for the host so let's start off the client let's go and do the clicked event for this and when we do this we want to do the destroy session and remove them from the level so much like how we're kicking players from the game with the uh, player controllers and lobby controllers we're going to do something very similar to that here so Look at your lobby controller. We run, where is it? Up here somewhere. Uh, the kick player. Uh, let's just find it in here. Kit from lobby. So we've got this kit from lobby here. We want to call open level uh, like we've done here. But alongside this, we also want to take it to destroy the session as well. So let's copy this and we're going to go to the lobby client screen and paste that in. In this case, because they're clicking on the close and removing themselves from the lobby, they don't have to have the kicked options. We can just get rid of that. And we want to also want to destroy the session too. And destroy a session will simply allow them to disconnect from a previously connected uh, session. We're going to plug that in before the open level and put the success onto open level. The player controller will put in our get player controller like so and i'll get the local player controller so let's test that out our client now should be able to return back to the main menu after clicking the uh, close or leave lobby button let's just go bring these up and here and we're gonna hit host match get the client screen Join match. About to find the match there. There it is. Join. Now I am. And if I hit close lobby on the client screen, it'll take me back to the, the map here. I click join match again. I'm hoping I would still see the original session. And it is. Join. And it should take me back into the level like so excellent so now what we've got to do is do it for the host so when the host clicks close lobby not only are they going to remove themselves from this lobby they're going to remove everyone else as well so all we do is we close that and we go to lobby host screen go to the close lobby button and click event and we're going to do pretty much the same thing you saw on the client screen so we're going to copy this and put that here. That will destroy the session and open the main menu level. When this does happen, what will happen is the clients themselves will also be sent out of the level too. And they'll be sent back to the main menu because that's where they were previously. So let's test that out in action. Yeah. Let's host a match, join match, 
and wait for it to find a session. Just bring that. Okay, so I've got client on the left, host on the right here. It closed lobby, and now returning back to the main menu. And the host can go back into hosting another match, and that client can go back into searching for another match. that button a hopefully be able to rejoin it ah maybe not the reason why I can't rejoin it is because we have to clear the previous session from the clients as well so the clients still think they're connected they just lost the uh, location of where they are so what we need to do is tell them all to be kicked from the lobby so what we do is on the lobby host screen uh, before we do destroy a session we're going to grab this up here and we're going to get all of the player controllers associated to our game mode. So get game mode. And then from there, cast to our lobby game mode. And then again from there, we can get our connected players. And for each one of these, we need to remove them and kick them from the level. So two, for each loop plug that into there and for each one we're going to do kick from lobby and then that will go completed down to destroy a session like so when we do cork it from lobby we do need to go into there and tell it to destroy the previous session so we're just going to put in destroy session in there like that and do on success open level you leave the option for kick so they get the warning message and then the player controller will be self okay so our host screen is going to go through each of the connected players and kick them from the lobby to destroy their sessions and restart them like so and when it's done this for our character uh, over here our host over here on success we can open another level into main menu However, we don't want it to kick the host from the lobby as they want to be removed from it naturally. So what we're going to do is going to check to see whether or not this player controller matches the same as the local player controller. If it does, it means that we're, that's the host one. So we're going to say if that is equal to. And put that in there. And in this case, we want it to only kick ones that aren't equal to. So we're going to do a not. And put a branch in place so only those not equal to the player controller will get kicked from the lobby whereas the host will just simply remove themselves from the lobby freely compile and save there we then need to give it some time for our clients to actually be removed from the lobby and get shown that they've been removed and then for the game to then send over a destroy session to the host so after the completed on the for each loop here, we're going to put a little delay, slow it down a bit. I'll delay that, and we're going to delay it by three seconds. So after three seconds of kicking all the players out of the lobby, the host itself will also leave the lobby back to the main menu. Now when I do get kicked out of the level, or kicked from lobby here, we want to send over what kind of kick they were, whether they were kicked or whether they were removed from uh, the lobby being closed. So on kick from lobby, we're going to add an input onto this. And we're going to do uh, option. So, put in the string. And we'll give it the default value of kicked. Because most of the time it will be a kick. And in its place, I'm going to drag that into the options here. Now, if you've got destroy session here, we're going to remove this. And put this directly straight into open level. Into main menu. And that's because I don't want it to close the session until it's had a chance to go back to the main menu with this error message. Otherwise, what happens is they close the they go back to close the session, go back to the main menu because of that, and then the main menu has been called to close rather than be kicked. So let's change that around a bit. So by removing that, that just tells them to go to the main menu, and then on the main menu game mode, we're going to tell it to destroy the session because every time we go back to menu, we're going to clear that out. So after we delay it before we go and switch on string, we're going to do destroy session and just put in get player controller. 
into our distorted session there. And now go into the switch on string where we've got the kicked error message being displayed. I'm going to add a new pin to this and we're going to put in the question mark lobby closed. And this is going to create a different error message. So let's copy and paste this one. Create the lobby closed. And let's just reword this to say um, the host has closed the session and you have been returned to the main menu. Okay. Hit compile, save on that. And all we have to do then is send over this lobby closed key over when we send them out. So on the lobby host screen, we got this kicked from lobby. Change that from kicked and do lobby closed. Okay, now let's give this a shot. Hit compile and save this, and let's test this out. Test it with three different uh, two clients and a uh, host. Okay, and over here, there we are. Just separate this out a bit so you can see them a little bit better. Okay, this one's going to be the host. And we'll make this one join and this one join. And uh, and if I hit close lobby on the host now, it should kick these two out and they should get an error message. There we have it. And we've all returned back to the main menu. And if the host wants to start a new session up, they can go into host match and it'll start a new match. These guys should be able to see that new match still because they've been returned and destroyed the previous session. They should be able to find any new sessions like so. And they can leave that one freely too and start the rain one up. And this guy now has an option of two sessions to join. Yeah. This one comes. Probably. And. There you have it. We can now close the lobby and remove players from our game. The last thing I want to go through is a bug fix and show you what to do for it. And this relates back to when we want to spawn the player back into the world um, with the uh, with the correct character class. So we're going to go into the third person uh, BP here, go into the player controller for the game, and we're looking for the uh, event of request respawn and in here you just want to add a little delay for one second between the third person game mode and the respawn this just gives it enough time to find the correct class that they need to find from here so give it that little delay and away it goes and there we have it a finished uh, system for us to kick and remove players from our game as well as close our lobbies to open up new ones in the last episode we're going to go through and showcase how to send over data such as changing the player's name in the lobby and send that data across to the game mode so you can actually see it in the game whilst you're playing but watch the next episode right now head over patreon.com forward slash ryan laley we can catch that episode plus many others before anyone else so a massive thank you to all my patrons and youtube members for their continued support Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.